Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon Crew, and Beautiful Rabbit Hole, King Dio, and the already finished Lauren Frey. I said upcoming, I almost said upcoming Lauren Frey, but I'm just like, wait a minute, it's finished, so is it upcoming or not? Okay, so um, over the past week, uh, Christmas break, rather than like make videos over other grown men over the internet or, or talking about games or anything, I was, uh, I was at, I was with my family enjoying myself. For the most part, like th there was work involved. I had like a novel to finish. I had like um, channel stuff. I did the Mario's. Th there have been a lot of things I have been doing. But when I wasn't busy with like other obligations, I was playing Dead or Alive one through four. I'm still in the process of playing through four. I don't quite have a gap. Uh, a quite quite have a grasp on it yet, but. After two, by the time I had played Dead or Alive two, I kind of, I kind of realized something, uh, something that I think is uh, that I kind of felt as early as uh, playing Dead or Alive Dimensions on the 3DS for the first time, a, a game that I think a lot of people kind of, uh, kind of slept on due to being a, a, a 3DS exclusive Dead or Alive, ex um, Dead or Alive game, like after Itagaki has left the company, after Itagaki left the company. I think a lot of people, a lot of people need to appreciate that Dead or Alive is far superior to Tekken. After playing, like, uh, even the original game, but especially 2, 3, 4, and Dimensions, I've, I've come to this conclusion that not only is Dead or Alive better looking, better playing, uh, more fun to play... Uh, with a better character roster, <laughs> uh, with with a better with a better character roster, with a better plot, with like a, a more cohesive tone, um, you know, real real evolution, like with the sequels. Um, I I think it goes beyond that. Like I think Dead or Alive is not only better than Tekken. I think it's probably the best three D fighting game series. I've ever played. I, I haven't played like all of them. Like I played like I have a little bit of experience with Soul Calibur. I I've played like Tekken recently. No, I got into Tekken for a long while. I dropped it because it was because it was shit. Yeah. I um, I I've played like uh, let's see what's another one. I I've played like a handful of them. Right, uh, all the major players. Right, uh, Dead or Alive came last, and I think like a reason for that. The reason I wasn't like so fired up about playing Dead or Alive was that like its reputation as being a fan service heavy series, which is kind of weird going back and playing it again because um, there's nothing particularly fan service-y about Dead or Alive, right? If anything, I think it's less fan service-y than Tekken. Like, playing it, like, I think uh, Kazumi, Ayane, um, uh, the female cast, well, the cast in general is, well, you know, Dead or Alive has, like, the best female cast in fighting games. I think most people wouldn't dispute that. But the thing is, the thing is, like, play, like uh, playing with all these characters, you kind of understand that, like, not only is the, not only is the game incredibly accessible to the point where, like, anyone can kind of pick up, uh, pick up and play, learn a couple of combos, and then kind of use that to beat on their opponent, and then kind of, kind of learn from there about, like, uh, some variations in the moves and stuff like that. Um, the 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 characters themselves are incredibly engaging. I like basically all of them. I found myself really really liking Kasumi and her like her her um you know the female protagonist of this fighting game series uh, going on this on this um this journey and just um, you know leaving her village and being hunted down by Ayane. Uh, you know, I, I liked seeing Tina interact with her father. Like, <laughs> I just played, like, uh, Bass's, Bass's arcade ending in, uh, in Dead or Alive 4. And, like, I, 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 I started cracking up when Tina was on stage with, like, the microphone thanking everybody in her life. Like, her mom in heaven, uh, her elementary school teacher. <laughs> like, uh, people like that and not, like, her father, right? Uh, kind of... Uh, it was just, it, it came off as so natural and so real, right? Like, uh, I like Brad Wong and his, like, drunken fist. I like Jan Lee and, like, his, uh, his Bruce Lee thing. Uh, probably the best Bruce Lee clone I've seen in, a in a fighting game series so far. Uh, I like, uh, Christy and her snake style. I like Lee Fang, um, um, uh, the way she plays. I like, um... 
I like all of these fucking characters. They they're all not they're not all not only are they all fun to play, they all have like interesting storylines, uh, interesting personalities, and actually come off as if they're like real people. You, you know, like they actually come off like um, they're not just one note joke characters. You know, like Tekken does with like all, all their entire cast. Like uh, you know, Jan Lee actually has. Did, did I not mention that? Like, uh, fuck, I completely forgot. I mentioned Jan Lee, and I'm just like, wait a minute, <laughs> doesn't he have a rival with uh, Best Girl Hitomi? Have I not mentioned that uh, Hitomi is objectively Best Girl, and uh, in anything ever, I, I don't, I can't think of a, a, a time I've been like so so enamored with this random fighting game character. Like Hitomi is just perfect. Like a really good example of what I'm talking about, in which she's like. She has a really fleshed out personality in the case where like, you know, she can fight, but she has rivalry, she has friendships, she has like a personality as opposed to like all these, uh, these other 3D fighting game characters with their uh, fucking moe blob schoolgirl nonsense. Like how long has Zhao Yu been, been in high school? Like, uh, really... Having finished, like, basically all of the relevant Dead or Alives, one through four, well, one through three, well, uh, having, uh, I think three is my favorite at this point, other than the final, other than the final boss, which I don't care for. Two, four did make it, four does seem to have made, like, some, some major improvements, like, having, like, different final bosses, depending on the character you're playing as, which uh, I really appreciate. Uh, it really helps the characters uh, come into their own, and it really does feel like a really good climactic way to end the series. Um, um, let's see, what, what was I talking about? Um, shit. What was I, what was I getting at? I keep getting off track. There, there's so much to talk about. Oh yeah, Tekken, Tekken, Tekken. Um, there is not a single thing, I think, that Tekken does better than Dead or Alive. Like, um, Tekken is an overcomplicated mess, right? Like, it took me, like, what, 30 hours to learn how to play like a fucking fighting game. It took me that long to figure out like how to how to play law and how to like win online matches and actually be competent and not be like a, a complete failure. Probably I'm probably exaggerating. I, I don't know how long it took me. I I think I was playing as a bunch of different characters before I like settled on law and then I had to learn all of his combos and then I, then I had to deal with like uh, his his character matchups and like bad uh, good and bad character matchups and stuff like that and like when i learned how to play law like when i actually got good at tekken i lost interest in it because once you get past like the convoluted nature of like uh the overcomplicated design of the of the fighting uh, of the uh, the fighting system like it, it becomes like trivial to sort of like to sort of wail on your opponents it's just i i, I don't know like it, it just feels like um, it take it took too long to understand how Tekken works. Like whereas with Dead or Alive, it is it seems to be made to be extra, like to be complex, but also intuitive. In which like you have a bunch of different combos that can do a bunch of different things with a, across a bunch of different characters, but they 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 all have a lot of individuality. They all have their own unique of you know special uh, special ways to play uh, ways things that they excel at. Um, like, you, you, they have a lot of different things um, they can do. There's the parry system, which I think is the, the greatest invention in fighting game history, where you can sort of, like, just, just parry an oncoming attack you see coming and just uh, just lead it into a throw. Um, it, it's, it's great. Like, I, I really, really, really enjoy, really, really enjoy these games. Uh, I, I really, really do. Um, at this point, the only thing I really have against them and I do mean this, is that, like, the online play is off. And that would not be an issue if, um, if, um, if these games had continued to be, uh, to be made. Like, uh, I'm not, I'm never playing five, I'm not playing six. I, I don't care for games that don't have, like, Itagaki's involvement, so. I'm sure the online for those games are active, but I'm not, like, super, super, uh, I'm not going to, like, go out and play them just to play Dead or Alive online, you know what I mean? Like, I would prefer, like, uh, 2, 3, and 4 to just have online play, and uh, it, it just seems like we, um, 
we're probably never going to get that ever again. Like, what is with Itagaki games and having, like, no online features? I, I, um, Devil's Third has been shut down, like, was shut down, like, after a year. That was, that was embarrassing. I have no idea why. I was playing it constantly. Like, <sighs> Devil's Third was so great. Mm. Anyway, like, having, a now actually, now that I've actually played Ninja Gaiden, no, better than Devil May Cry, now that I've actually played Dead or Alive, better than Tekken, now that I've actually played, you, know, you know, now that I've played stuff like Devil's Third, better than Call of Duty, like, uh, better than Halo, better than, like, all these first-person shooters, can we all just agree that Tobinobu Itagaki is, like, the greatest director in, like, history? I, I can't think of anyone who's, who's made such compelling, interesting action games so consistently. Don't, don't say Hideki Kamiya. Kamiya doesn't have the same pedigree that Itagaki has. Like, he made, like, one really good mainstream game, uh, Bayonetta, and everything else has been, been kind of, like, gimmicky or niche, right? Like, Itagaki was legit bringing these kinds of intense action games to the mainstream in a way that was accessible and fun. And not to mention better than, like, overcomplicated it's overcomplicated competition, right? Uh, I, I, I really, really love this guy. This guy's games, and honestly, like, um, uh, to be honest with you, he's probably been a, a really big influence in, in my uh, my creative efforts, uh, which I might talk about on a later date. But I really, really love Dead or Alive. I now consider myself a hardcore fan, uh, and will continue supporting the. Um, <laughs> one through four for uh, and, and telling people to play them because they are just sublime fighting games.